What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl Janiyah Aaliyah, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, first of all, y'all, welcome to another vlog. And currently, it's odd because it is Monday, but it's also approaching five o'clock, and I'm just now starting this vlog, and I'm not even about to really do anything else for the rest of the day. But I meant to start earlier, and literally, freaking, I don't know. The day, the day was just pow, 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 pow. But anyways, yeah. So, um. Basically, all I did earlier is my cousin came over. I gave her some little um, jumbo knotless braids, and they came out so cute, y'all. Like, they literally came out so cute, and we curled the little ends and whatnot. So, I'll, like, attach a picture of those if y'all want to see that. And so, right now, I'm headed to Jalen's house because we're going to watch the little Celtics game. I'm going to edit some videos because I do have a couple of videos that I do need to get edited. And, oh, my goodness. Like, oh, my goodness. And low key i just feel like for all the content creators listening i think it just gets better and i'm yelling because my car be loud sometimes so hopefully i can do it but i think it gets better as you continue to like produce more and more and more because although i do have a whole bunch of videos to edit i do also have a lot of videos like and just a lot of content going forward to film that i'm actually looking forward to filming and editing so it ain't, you know, it's work, but it's also like pleasure at the same time. And I have a good time doing it and whatnot. But yeah, anyways, y'all, I just wanted to come out here and get this vlog started. Like I said, I don't have anything else to do today. So I'm not going to waste y'all time with the rest of this vlog. Okay, I'm in traffic now. And I also bought these cute little uh, French tip nail kit from the beauty supply store when I went earlier. And so I can't wait to put those on. But low key, I'm contemplating when and if I should. Because I have uh, my cousin's hair to do tomorrow. Then somebody else's hair to do um, later in the week. And I have, I'll have one of them is a wig install. So I have to like do cornrows. And I'm pretty like, I usually don't have an issue um, braiding with nails on. And they're not too long. So I think I'll be okay. I'm probably gonna do my nails tonight like thinking about that because I really want to wear some nails I just think they'll be so cute and then another thing is also it's so cringy to me when somebody like doing content and like uh they're in need of a manicure and that was me the other day because I was editing my video and I'm like chow you didn't see that hang nail when you were recording and I know that kind of sound like so nitpicky perfectionist but I'm like no ma'am like how are you going to be a hand model it, that it's it, that's in need of a manicure like don't be out here holding the products and your hang nail and your knuckles ashy and all that kind of stuff so y'all gonna get a glimpse of that tonight when i go put those nails on only thing i was looking for is i had like i have a whole nail like thing in my room like a whole nail supply or whatever because i used to like do my nails and stuff but the thing is my closet and this is probably the number one reason as to why i'm ready to move out just because i'm simply running out of space and at this point, it's not because I have too much because all of that stuff I do need because I donate like so, so much, right? But it's just like over time, the things are accumulating uh, and I need room. And then on top of that, my closet, my closet actually isn't like that full or that big at all. But the way the door is set up, the door is basically at the corner of the closet, meaning I have so much stuff like at the back of the closet that I really can't even access like because it's not a walk-in closet so I have clothes hanging up then I have stuff and it's just a whole lot it's a whole lot and so that's probably gonna be my favorite part of moving out just actually seeing all that stuff that I put in there like a while ago and haven't been able to access and been able to move them into a space where I can see what all I have because chat when I tell y'all I have like a whole like three bags of braiding hair and like boxes of braiding hair and stuff like that in there but I continue to buy more because when I go in there and look, I can never find what I'm looking for because I can never see because there's no light there. But anyways, I'm just grateful to have a closet. Thank you. I'm happy to have a closet. <laughs> but nah, so I'm um so I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, so like back on track to what I was originally saying. In my nail supply, I know I did have like different acrylic powders, and one of them was like this natural pink acrylic powder, and I can't remember whether or not I gave it to my sister. If I did, I'll just go get it back so I can use it real quick. But yeah, and I almost bought another kit when I was at the store, but it was $20. And I was like, girl, I'm not paying $20 for this kit. And I know I have like, I know I got some of this stuff at home. 
So I just bought the like nails that I wanted and then I'm gonna do the whole kit thing when I find my stuff when I get back home. But anyways, y'all, that's enough talking. So I'm at Jalen's house watching the um watching the Celtics game or at, least, or at least we're trying to. And it's personally like hurting my spirit because um Jalen like suck. What the Because it's hurting my spirit because Jalen will literally scream through all four quarters and it's like bro just save it for the second half that's just my opinion personally but no he been screaming literally since this game started matter of fact he was yelling at the screen during the warm-up so i just thought i'd update y'all i'm just here so i can go get ice cream at halftime and um yeah that's about it ate a nice nice little dinner i had some uh meatloaf with some mashed potatoes oh no my some mashed potatoes, some corn, some lima beans, and it was amazing. But anyways, I'm about to turn on the movie um, while he's watching this game because what's the point in even watching the playoffs is Le if LeBron James isn't playing anywhere? If you're waiting on that to happen, you'll never watch it again. What's the point in watching the playoffs if LeBron James isn't even playing? So with that being said, like, literally, what's the point? But anyways... I see y'all. What? Okay, y'all. So today I'm getting an early start. I'm in the gym with Jalen. And yeah, that's really about it. Okay, y'all, so I know I look about 12 with these beads on top of my head, but we ain't gonna talk about that right now. Um, what I'm getting ready to do is it's currently 11.02, and my cousin um, has a graduation coming up, and she wants a silk press. So I'm getting ready to go pick her up so I can silk press her hair, and she wanted some clip-ins, too. Let me take this down, because this is actually not giving what it's supposed to get. But yeah, so I'm getting ready to go do that. I had to take a break because, you know, just got back from the gym, ate some Cheerios. And luckily, I didn't really do that much at the gym or working out anyways. It was a quick workout, but I had to go so that way I could, you know, make it to her in time. So, I didn't really, I just put on some jeans or whatever because I wasn't sweating or nothing. But, y'all, like, I don't know what it is. And it's really upsetting me and my homegirls because I, I wanted to wear these braids. I really did. But for some reason, they itch so bad. And I feel like they still probably look good on camera. And they look a little good in person too. But like, I just know I've been scratching these things so much. Like they just been itching so much. And so I've been scratching them, been putting oil. And I'm scared that I'm like ruining them. And also, it's like peak of the summer. So I don't want to take them out because if I take them out, what am I going to put in in its place? And I do plan on doing some more tapings, but not right now, cause how the hair gonna stay straight. But if I can, actually, I talked to uh, one of the companies or whatever, and they do have one that's like curly that I can also straighten when I'm ready. So maybe I can just wear those for like an extended period of time. But still, I'm just like, dang. But you know what? I may do that. I really may do that, cause like I told y'all before. <laughs> I'm slowly starting to step away from the wigs just because I'm like, I don't know. It's it's so crazy how like we acquire things like different tastes and stuff because that's kind of like a tangent. But when I was younger, I would have never dreamed of eating no mushrooms. Now I love it. I will eat mushrooms on pizza, eat it in soup, all kinds of stuff. And so like, I feel like it's a similar thing like with wigs and hair and stuff sometimes like certain styles or just certain looks you don't want to do and i still love a good wig but sometimes i just want something a little more natural even if it's a very good wig install like it's there's a difference between you looking good and like feeling good and it can be both right it can be both but 
it's like I like to feel free when I wear my hairstyles like free ain't got to worry about oh is my lace showing or oh it's getting hot is it starting to slide back like stuff like that type free or okay let me go jump in the water like bro I be seeing these videos where girls be wearing the uh, wigs on vacations and they be so cute when they get there then as soon as they get in that water you're done you're done and so yeah I don't I don't be going for that like I don't like it I just I don't like it and so yeah I think I am just kind of leaning towards more natural looks I look so beat up right now and that's okay we don't have to look like a baddie all the time <laughs> okay well yeah so i'm getting ready to head out um she literally stays like right there so that's obviously why i'm sitting here talking to y'all but child i know i know the first couple days of this vlog was a little choppy but we about to you know get into the nitty gritty of the stuff maya's graduation is on wednesday and you know since i didn't have a graduation i mean like obviously none of my family was there or anything to my powerpoint so i'm gonna put my cap in my purse and then um, when it's time to take pictures, I'm going to take the cap out of my purse, put it on my head, and take pictures. <laughs> so, um, yeah, because, um, because, yeah, did y'all say it was um, class of 22 or class of 2020 2.0? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, with that being said, um... I'm going to have to step it up for the lost class of 2020 because why did they even do us like that? That's just so messed up. Like, never had a high school graduation. Just didn't have it. Just didn't have it. But anyways, y'all, like, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Because later, I want to do my nails. I just, ah. Uh. What's up? I'm in here in the car eating my Chick-fil-A. And y'all... I'm so fortunate because where I live, we have a Truett and a Chick-fil-A. Because if y'all know off TikTok, Truett has a whole different menu, which personally, everybody who lives here, we're all on agreement that Truett really ain't nothing special. It ain't all that good. You know what I'm saying? It's just, okay. But they got this island chicken salad sandwich. And boy, this thing be going crazy. Let me show it to y'all. It's literally just chicken salad, like... But it's so good. And so I had to come out the way today to come get one after I finished my cousin's hair. So yeah, I'm just really enjoying my lunch break in the car. <laughs> I said lunch break, girl. You're full of yourself. But yeah, I'm gonna eat, okay? I'm about to go crazy, so. I look cute, I know. <laughs> no, but anyways, y'all. So I'm back in my room, fully fed. You know when you're wearing a face mask or you just like look bad and you just kind of kind of convince yourself that you don't look as bad as you think you do? That's the moment I'm having right now. And y'all like I really I really want these braids to work, but y'all don't understand. I literally keep doing like this. And it's just like, oh, I'm going to have to think of another protective style that I can do because my hair just itch so bad. Maybe I'm making it worse. I think I'm making it worse. But anyways you guys so right now you know what i want to give a little shout out and this is not no sponsored shout out because let me tell y'all about i don't want to call it the dark side but the dark side of being a content creator so the thing is i feel like for me because i'm not somebody who's around like a whole bunch of other content creators and whatnot like there are a lot of things about this business about this niche whatever it is I simply, sorry y'all, my beat's so loud, but that I simply do not know. And I accept that. Like, I just feel like in life in general, we're learning as we go. But sometimes you just ain't got the time and the space to be trying to do all that. So basically, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. So I remember a while ago, somebody telling me about this or seeing something about this website. I don't know if they have an app, but this website called lumanu okay it's called lumanu l u a wait l u m a n u and i'm looking at it on my computer right now because i literally just tried it and so basically on there um let me see if i can read something to y'all this ain't sponsored i'm telling y'all <laughs> okay yes so basically lumanu is called like the business app for creators it says free fast invoicing tools and early pay built on the world's smartest digital wallet lumanu is the business app 
the business app built just for creators with everything you need and nothing you don't and so i get on here literally and it was free i was scared i was gonna have to pay but i got here and it was free and like they kind of had a little fill in a blank thing for me to redo my invoice and then from there i literally just it sends the email i mean yeah it sends the invoice to the people who's supposed to pay you like automatically or whatever so it copies you an email right and i thought this was so cool i thought this was so cool because still as i'm looking at it i'm like but y'all didn't tell me to put no payment information in. So am I supposed to put my payment information there or not? Like, what is going on? And on the email, there's like a link at the bottom where it literally says, it's like a button where it says pay invoice. And so when whoever's paying you, they're going to click pay invoice. And then there will be like a whole bunch of options um, like bank transfer, PayPal, wire transfer. And then I think like one other thing, I can't remember. Where basically when the person sends the PayPal or the wire transfer, it goes into your Lumanu account. And so then you connect, your bank will be connected to the Lumanu account. So that way when they pay you, it goes to that account. And then you withdraw it from the app instead of having to give people your information. And so this is how mine looks right now because like I got, hold on, let me not zoom in. This is how mine looks right now because like I told y'all, them folks ain't paid me. But I'm a little more relieved now knowing that I've done it the correct way this time. Because that was just like a headache. Like, I was really getting frustrated because I've been waiting for so long. I've been waiting for literally. But I just want to put y'all on the app if any creators are watching me. Use that app because I don't got time to play with y'all about this money, okay? I gotta live, okay? I have to. Okay, y'all, so I'm currently running at the house <clears throat> looking all raggedy and I didn't even get to finish my nails and yes, I have sunscreen on my forehead. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Gotta go fast. Y'all know I don't know how to leave the house this fast. Okay. Well, I'm trying to hurry up because I just remembered that today was literally the last day to vote. And I did want to vote. I still do. And I wonder if they're going to close the thing right at 7 because it's, um, oh, snap. Oh my goodness. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Because it's literally right down the street. I just got to get there. Let me drive. I got to be safe. Safety first, y'all. Okay, you guys. Okay. I just got out. And, okay. Jalen's going to back up at the same time as me. Okay, hold on. It's a lot going on. But yeah, so I just got out of the little voting place. And y'all, <laughs> first of all, we are so slow. Now, mind y'all, and I got my camera tripod between my legs. That's why I just look crazy. Mind y'all, um, early voting was literally for three weeks. And like yeah let's just say early button for was for three weeks and i didn't vote right but the last time i did vote it was during early voting and apparently which i just found out today during sorry y'all during early voting you can literally vote uh at any precinct within like your county or whatever right didn't know that so I thought you could just vote at any precinct within your county, like whenever. So that's why literally me and Jalen, he, we kind of stayed an even amount away or the same amount away from the station we went to. So we literally both leave our houses because it was like a last minute thing. Like we didn't mean it to, but kept forgetting, right? Leave our houses. Oh my God, my camera's gonna die. At 648, get to the voter station. It's like 655 just to be at the wrong one. So we had to do a provisional ballot and child, yeah, it's 730 now. But yeah, we had to do that whole thing, child. So PS, if you didn't know, you can only vote at your precinct on election day. But I voted for all the people before me who didn't even get to vote. So with that being said, even though I was late, I still voted because that's my right and I'm allowed to vote 
So I'm gonna go vote, even if I show up a little late and show up to the wrong place. At least I didn't show up at 7.01 though. I was there early, just not, I just wasn't prepared. So I'm heading back home to finish my nails now. So I'm gonna go. Okay, hey y'all, before my camera dies, I just wanna show y'all how the nails came out. I'm literally getting ready to go to sleep because it's been a long day, I'm tired. Okay y'all, what's up? Good morning. Um. Okay, great. Good morning y'all, so today is my sister's graduation and I just finished doing her makeup, doing my makeup, and then now I'm probably finna head out and go help my mom with some stuff. I need to find out exactly what I want to wear because I feel like I do want to wear a dress, but I don't know. I don't know exactly what dress I would be wearing. I don't have that many to choose from, so. But yeah, so I'm going to figure that out and then we're going to go from there. But I'm really doing a whole separate, like, graduation vlog because it's a lot and now I want to stuff it into this vlog. So I'm filming on a whole separate vlog. I know, right? Two vlogs at one time? What are you doing? But anyways, just put on some little red brown lip gloss. Didn't have to put on my bath and body work lip gloss. But yeah, I'm gonna go find me something to wear, so I'll be back. So we're in the car. Graduation just ended not too long ago. As y'all can see, everybody's literally like walking um, to their car. And we was taking some pictures or whatever. And so we don't know like what's about to happen in between because it's 2.30, graduation party's at five o'clock. Um, and so I'm contemplating, it's a pool, well it's not really a pool party, but it's a pool there. I low-key wanted to get in, but like if nobody else gets in the pool, I'm not just about to be in the pool. And then it say, let me see, about to be in Atlanta. Let me see what the weather is in Atlanta. Somebody car over here going off. Okay. Bro, my service here is so bad. Like it's really not even funny. What is going on? Everybody's car is going off. One of them Netflix movies. Yeah, so it's supposed to rain at like 5 o'clock. So I don't even think I'm going to waste my time like uh, trying to get no swimsuit to get in the pool. So yeah, I'll just let y'all know what we end up coming up with because I don't know where I'm supposed to be going right now. So I'll see y'all later. Okay, Lamaya, so tell us how do you feel after your graduation? Amazing. That's what you showed in my sign. My balloons flew out the window. I feel great, you know. Class 2022, the last best class. Why are you all up in my face? Are you about to attack me? The last best class, so. Yeah. Where my gift at? I actually don't know what you're talking about. Give me my gift. Why can't we ice cream? Well, I need to change my clothes. I don't know what I want to wear yet. Wait, so where are we, where are we supposed to be? You going to Freddy's and the little girls. Ladies. You too. <laughs> 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 oh, we won't eat a kiss. Flood my whole heart with your love and find me in the thick of it, swimming towards something that I've wanted for so long. Never ever I needed you this much, but some part of me thinks you've given up on us. Let's call it baby, baby. We're
Good morning, y'all. Pimple on the chin is still here. And so today is Thursday. And currently, me and Jalen are outside the gym. Jalen's getting his little workout stuff out of his trunk or whatever. But y'all, like, ugh, I don't be feeling like recording the workouts. And I'm not going to record the workout because I just, I don't want to. But I always forget to vlog even when I'm headed to the gym and I just so happen to have my camera in my bag so I was like all right bet I ain't forget this time but um so we're getting ready to do a little small workout small little mobility workout then after that I'm going to do Jalen's sister's hair for graduation she's getting like this cute burgundy wig and so I'm gonna like install it or whatever for her then before we go do that there's a beauty plus store literally right next door to the gym and so, I, and so I need to go in there and get some oil for my braids because, child, my braids are itching so bad. And if they keep itching like this, I'm going to take them out. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go in the gym, get this workout done, and I'll see y'all at the store. Okay, y'all. Jalen, Jalen up in here about to freaking break the Beauty Supply store. The I'm like, what did he do? Did the door just slam on you? But anyways, oh, you can get your oils from here. Just grab you a few because... I already got one. I know, but they're not anything like that. You have more to choose from. I put Jalen on to like the Argan Oil one of these. You put me on tonight. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I literally gave it to you. Anyways, yeah, I put him on to the little Argan Oil thing of this, and he really liked it. And they usually sell them at Walmart, but we couldn't find them at Walmart. But anyways, back to what I'm here from, here for. I'm here to get some little just anti-itch oil because these braids are itching bad. So here, can you hold this? Thank you for participating. <laughs> can you realize it's not supposed to be on you? Wait, can I turn this thing or no? Yeah, you, you can close it if you want. I just have it like that when I'm recording myself. They have a lot of oils here if you want one too. I don't know why I never found it. It's okay, I don't need to buy anything to tell you. I want some cookies. See, that's the problem. Okay, well, we both have problems because obviously you spend your money on food and dessert and I spend mine on freaking. You spend your money on food. Who's been wanting to go to Andy's the most? Who's been wanting to go to Andy's the most in the past two weeks? You. Bro, you go with me though. <laughs> I don't. Well, okay. You, exactly. You but you've been wanting it more. Cause it's good. Okay, let's go get it right now. Then. Okay, let's go get it right now. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the problem right there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Remember where you came from, y'all? I came from here, Jalen. Get out of my face. <laughs> You gotta remember where you came from, y'all. Like this stuff. Blue Magic Tea Tree Oil. Any Did you come here for that? No, but I'm probably gonna leave with it. For what? Bro, you act so silly sometimes. So y'all, I'm getting this one. And I really can't talk too much in here because as y'all can hear, they got all this music playing in the background. But what did you do just fine? But Jalen is enjoying this camera man thing a little too much. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of here and I'll see y'all a little bit later. Makeup looking good. Okay, y'all, what's up? So right now at this point, and I'm, I'm ashamed to even tell y'all this, but Jalen and I are, <laughs> Jalen and I are headed to Andy's to get some ice cream. Um, We're supposed to be starting this diet on Monday. We'll meet Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so we headed to Andy's. know what that means. <laughs> we headed to Andy's to go get some ice cream. I finished Jalen's hair. I mean, not Jalen's hair. Jalen's sister's hair not too long ago. And y'all, it came out so cute. Like, it literally came out so cute. Like, I'm not even going to hold y'all. That's better than yours. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. That was probably like one of my best wig installs I have done. Like, it just came out so amazing. No regrets. And usually, and hopefully y'all got my uh, little joke. If y'all, I can't remember what movie that was. No regrets. I thought like that was oh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Yeah, he got no regrets tatted on him. <laughs> but nah, usually when I do people's hair, not even people's hair, but like wigs specifically, it's like, y'all don't realize when I do my hair, I spend hours on my hair. And hours because even though it may look, even though something may look good or my hair may look good to somebody else at a certain point, to me, I know what I be looking for. I know what I be going for. And so I'm going to sit there for however long freaking cutting and snipping and gluing until it looks exactly how I want it. And I be feeling that exact same way when I do other people's hair. But sometimes you just got to chill because like, because like, like I said, I, I be doing too much. Whereas... What I see is, oh no, I, I gotta fix, clip, and snip. Somebody else, like, obviously likes that. And I just go, okay. And then I'll call it a day. And I'm like, okay, well, if they say something, then I'll fix it. And then they just don't say anything. And I'm like, okay, well, guess they like it. Which is also another reason as to why. If you get your hair or nails done and don't like it, say something. Say something. But no, anyways, um, what I, the whole point I was trying to make is that with this one, there was literally nothing. I was just like, you know what? Like, I'm actually happy and satisfied with my performance on this hairstyle. Like, it literally looks amazing. And, oh, it's packed a bit. And it's... Well, it ain't... Well, yeah, it is kind of packed. Okay, don't... Yeah. But, yes, I was just satisfied. And I was actually happy with the outcome or whatever. But, yeah, that's it. That's all. Oh, yeah, look. There got my sister friends. I don't know if them her friends, but I know they ain't her great. But, okay, I'm gonna go now. I just wanted to say that, like, it just came out so cute. If y'all want to see it, hanging out high schoolers. <clears throat> if y'all want to see it, go check out my hair page because I haven't yet started back like doing hair for the public, obviously. But I do have my hair page from when I do. That's where I'll be posting it and all the booking information, all that good stuff. So it's uh, hair by Janiah J. Hair by Janiah J. It's on my Instagram. So, y'all go follow that page. But anyways, we're about to get our ice cream. You already know I'm getting a Butterfinger with marshmallow cream. So, goodbye. Y'all, my hair literally itches so bad. It's not funny. Like, I, I just can't even laugh at it anymore. Like, I don't know what the issue is. And let me tell y'all how bad my hair itch. I'm using blue magic. I just put some blue magic on my scalp. And I have, I guarantee y'all, I have not touched any blue magic product in at least four years. Probably five, maybe even six. My hair itched so bad. I saw that store and I grabbed it. And it still itch. I'm just about to take them out. Now, I was literally in the midst of cleaning my room, but I'm going to cut these braids just to make my intent clear, and I'm, like, sad that I really just cut these braids like that. Like, I really just cut these braids. Coming to terms with my decision. I'm taking these braids out <laughs> because they just itch so bad and it's to the point where I don't even know what the heck is going on I don't and I do want to kind of keep my hair in braids just for as long as I can because I want to give my hair some more time to grow and just recuperate because I was doing a lot of straightening and all that stuff but this right here no ma'am it just itched too bad I don't know what's wrong I don't know what's wrong. I didn't put all kinds of oils and everything on my scalp. And it just itch. And I can't do it anymore. So, these will be out of my head by tomorrow morning. I have a graduation to go to tomorrow. So, I'll just do a little slick down thing and whatnot. And we'll just have to be okay. Because I like, like y'all, I can't even believe it. But yeah, we'll be okay. Probably next style. I'm probably just going to do some, um... Some corn rolls, just regular corn rolls going straight back. Nothing too crazy.
this style didn't take that long so I'm not really that hurt that I literally just cut them but I can't do it no more I can't do it it was nice while it lasted right now I'm cleaning my room because my room was a complete hot mess when I left the house today and when I wake up I do plan on filming some content which is why I'm gonna uh, take these braids out before I go to sleep tonight um and so luckily I won't have to worry about my room being a mess that's like the last thing I want to worry about so I'm putting all my stuff up getting that together I'm gonna take this out and go to bed and call it a day okay 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 I'm trying to calm myself down because all this itching is literally about to give me some anxiety that I cannot handle right now okay so with that being said um i'll see y'all tomorrow okay good morning y'all um right now as y'all can see the face is beat because i literally just finished um recording a couple reels or whatever on my camera and so i'm trying to wait for them to send from my camera to my phone but they going kind of slow so part of me is thinking that i may have to take my camera in the car with me and just have it in there working working because it's going a little too slow and me and Jalen was supposed to be at brunch at nine but i think he's still at the gym so i'm fine but i'm supposed to be like driving down there so that way we can ride in one car and not have to worry about parking so i'm gonna just go ahead and head out the house and take my camera with me and uh yeah but as y'all can see took the hair out got a little slick back bun thing going on child because I, I just couldn't do it i just could not do it like i'm telling y'all it it wasn't about to happen but anyways let's go get in the car y'all literally look at this now i just want to say that i'm jealous of the girls i have to yell because i feel like my car be so loud but i'm jealous of the girls who can wear a cute slick back bun and not look bald from the front because i turned my camera on and i was like what the like what is going on and i feel like personally the bald look is not giving what it's supposed to give but anyways y'all so i'm headed to downtown atlanta um traffic so far is looking good it's about like 8 55 going on nine o'clock so that's actually surprising the fact that this traffic is looking so like smooth so far but y'all i'm literally driving without my gps because my phone is stuck on this one screen because it's having to receive like these videos from my camera that are taking forever but you know what i think i like the thrill we gonna see if i actually know where i'm going and know how to get there and I feel like for the most part I do and I should be able to figure the rest out like I know the other day um my auntie was trying to explain like the numbers and like the signs and the interstates and stuff to me so she was like yeah you know 1941 and this 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 I'm looking like what and she was just like just make sure you read the signs and I'm like because I've never like that's the benefit of my generation is that we never really had to read signs because by the time we started driving we literally just had gps to get everywhere so i'm not even gonna hold y'all half the time i don't even know where i'm going i'm literally like figuring it out so i think it's important for me to try to drive without this gps to see if i know where i'm going because best believe if the service go out if the signal go out chat we're gonna be driving in circles and we about to be lost but anyway, uh, I'm trying to wait on his phone to finish, but it's literally taking forever. But yeah, I'll let y'all know how it go. Ooh, there go the sun. Okay, gotta go. Okay, y'all. So we back in the car, and I just got me some smoothie tea. Got me a nice little smoothie, and right now I'm meeting Jalen at the park. We're just about to hang out at the park for a little bit, and it's currently about four o'clock. And his sister's graduation is like at seven, and I'm going. He's going, obviously. And my sister is also trying to go because some of her friends are graduating as well. 
I'm really not about to wear nothing special right now. I just got on this little white t-shirt and some leggings. And that's what I'm going to wear. And the weather today is so good. Like, usually it be scorching, but today it's not scorching. It literally feels amazing. Y'all, I was at home. What did I do this morning? Let me think. Because sometimes I can't even remember. Hold on. Let me think. Where did I go? Oh, yeah. Obviously, y'all saw that. This morning, me and Jalen went out for um some breakfast at Atlanta Breakfast Club. And it was amazing, as always, right? And so, when I get back home, y'all, I, um, I know I filmed some content earlier. So, I was like, okay, I got to edit these reels or whatever. Child, when I tell you... So tired, like I just literally laid down, and at first I was like, This is how we set ourselves up. At first, I was all like, Okay, I'm about to take a quick 15 minute nap, set the timer. I didn't even get under the covers, I still had my whole outfit on, feet hanging off the bed with my sandals on, everything. I had my little folded throw blankets, I laid down my head on the uh, folded throw blanket because I didn't want to lay on my covers because. I had makeup on, you know, I'll be weird. My uh, my linen is white. So I'm laying on this little uh, blanket. Child, I was knocked out. And so then, woke up, woke up, Um, probably after the time it went off, and I was like, nah, man, I need a couple more minutes. Set another 15-minute timer. And child, that time, I was like, oh, man. So that timer literally went off, and y'all, this was stuff started to get crazy. That timer went off, and I remember my sister coming in my room. Uh, she was like telling me the food was good. So I was like, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how you talk when you sleep. But that timer went off. And I just, at that point, I was like, man, I ain't got nothing to do till later. I'm just about to sleep. It's only like 11 o'clock. Like, I'm going to sleep. Girl, I was so, I was sleep. And it was to the point where, you know how you get in a certain stage of sleep where your dreams began to feel real? So I was literally dreaming that like my sister had maybe invited my cousins or somebody like, like my cousins or like somebody came over or whatever. <clears throat> and so I dreamed that I heard a little dog barking in her room. And I'm like, yeah, somebody gotta be up here. Like it just felt so real, first of all, right? And then I dreamed, like I was dreaming, like, okay, while that was happening, that there was a little girl in my house. Like obviously I couldn't see her cause I knew in my dream I was sleeping. But I could hear her voice or whatever just walking around, running around, like, yelling and laughing and stuff. And I could hear the dog and stuff. And then I think when I was sleeping, I kept hearing, like, the little girl come in my room. And she was like, oh, I think I was like, what's your name? Or no, I think she just started telling me her name. She was like, oh, what was her name? She was like, my name is Macy something something Grace something something Perry something something. Girl, I don't know. But she had, like, two or three last names. And I'm sitting here like... You know, oh yeah, some, some, uh, bro, what was that last name? Escobar. And I'm like, bro, do I know anybody with the last name Escobar? Because in my mind, my sister really had invited somebody over. So I'm like, let me think, do I know any of her friends with the last name Escobar? Like, that sounds so familiar. Child, and I was like, you know what? This feels a little too real. So I was trying to wake myself up, or at least open my eyes to see if there was really a little girl in my room, child. Man, that's how you know your nap was too good. When you can't even separate the dream from reality, like... And I woke up. I literally felt so crazy after that. Like, I'm not even going to hold y'all. I was about to check myself in. But no, I literally felt so crazy because I was like, what the heck? Like, have y'all ever had a dream? And this will happen to me during, like, school time and whatnot. Have y'all ever had a dream where, like, your dream feels so real that when your, um, when your phone alarm, when your wake-up alarm starts to go off, you feel like it's something in your dream and so you don't wake up and the alarm just keep going off, going off, going off. Like, I will literally have dreams like that. And so in the dreams, my alarm will be going off. And so the dream would change from whatever I was dreaming about to now we're in the dream looking for, hey, where is that sound coming from? I remember one time a dream was like I was getting kidnapped or something. Or I was like, me and this girl I went to school with, I didn't even talk to, we was like kidnapped or whatnot. And my alarm on my phone started going off but in my dream it was girl you brought your phone and so her phone was like going off and so we were trying to figure out how to turn her phone off we was in there breaking her phone turning it off everything but the phone literally would like okay what y'all doing now girl you gotta stop sign girl but the phone literally would like not shut up and when i tell y'all it took me forever to wake up and realize girl that's your dang alarm and you late 
you're late. But anyways, y'all, that's all. I just wanted to share my dream with y'all. But I'm finna, you know, hang out at this park, drink my little smoothie, and then I'll talk to y'all a little later. Bye. Okay, y'all, so me and Jalen are in the car, headed to his sister's graduation. Um, Do you have any words that you that you want to say? Graduate high school. Yo, this boy know that he finna literally be crying about tomorrow. Oh, my sister, my sister's graduating. Uh, just, just two days ago, we were wearing, uh, we were just playing together and making forts. And now she's graduating high school. Probably that would be more you than me. Um, no, not really. Anyways, guys, uh, we'll see y'all when we get there. Oh, y'all, I'm like, I'm not mad, but like, I'm a little underdressed. Even though I'm not really underdressed because I don't think there was ever really a dress code. But I get here and next thing you know, Jalen changing into his freaking dress shoes and slacks and stuff. And I literally have on a crop top with some leggings and this black jean jacket. And I'm just like, and everybody else got on their little sundresses and stuff. And I'm just oh, like. and I got my shades too. No, let me wear your shades. No, no. And I'm just no. like, dang. Like, Jalen, literally, every time we go somewhere, he always asks me, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? And I'm, I'm wearing this, 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 and then he gonna match me, right? Why are you, why are you blaming me for you, for you not dressing up? <laughs> and he gonna match me, right? But the one time this man dress up, and this man do not dress up. He wear gym clothes everywhere. Oh, okay, y'all. Like Jalen will literally, Jalen will literally wear gym clothes with a flat well, t-shirt. Hey, like, oh, yeah. all, that, hey, put the camera on me. This all you need to know. When I get fly, you know it. That's all I'm gonna say. Camera out. So I guess we don't know anything. Okay, y'all. So it's the end of an extremely long day and an extremely busy week. And as y'all can see, I'm back home, wash my face, and I'm about to go ahead and get into my nightly skincare routine off camera, y'all. But I just wanted to come and formally say good night. Like, ugh. I can't even begin to tell y'all how busy and just long this entire week felt. Lots of graduation festivities and graduation little activities to attend. But luckily, they're all over now. And that's amazing. But anyways, hopefully y'all enjoyed this little vloggy vlog. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. You already know. Click smash. Smack that subscribe button down below. <clears throat> my voice is cracking. And I will see y'all on my next video.